Discipline comes from the Latin word disciplina, which was a minor deity in Roman mythology. The word disciplina itself is multifaceted. And according to Wikipedia, it refers to education and training, self-control and determination, knowledge in a field of study, and an orderly way of life. Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to tell you my story, how I became a disciplined person from being literally one of the laziest person I ever knew. It all started in my childhood where I have a history of starting things and never finishing them. For instance, I started dancing, I started ice skating, I started playing the guitar and many more hobbies that just after half a year, a year or one and a half years, I just did not want to do anymore. And I continuously wanted to start something that I saw somewhere, but then when I had to put the effort in and go through the tough times of maybe not being so good at it in the beginning, I quickly lost motivation and I refused to go there. During high school, I was constantly too lazy to do my homework and I was even accepting the repercussions of not doing my homework because it was nicer to just have a lazy afternoon every single day. After high school I started three degrees at university that I all dropped out of because I was too lazy to put the work in. I decided to drop out of them, it wasn't necessarily because of grades that I dropped out of them, but I just didn't want to put in the work anymore. Only my fourth degree was the one that I finally pushed through and graduated. So you might ask yourself now, but what happened? And I was thinking about what were the things that I did in order to become disciplined. At some point after studying this fourth degree, I became tired of being lazy because I never felt good being lazy. I felt like I didn't achieve anything in life because I had dreams, everybody has dreams, but my laziness was just overpowering the motivation to reach them. And I decided to stop this. And also my parents grew tired of it and basically told me, if you are not going to do this degree now, then we won't finance you anymore. So I had two forces there acting. On the outside, the fear that, okay, this one is really the last one that I can do and myself growing tired of my own laziness. And this both actually helped me to kickstart my way to discipline. And to give you an insight how my life is looking right now. I'm working a 40 hour work week. I'm going to the gym five times a week. I'm learning Portuguese for three hours every week right now. And I also have this YouTube channel, which also takes me a good 15 hours a week. So generally, especially if I compare myself to my previous self, I am very disciplined today. Of course, there are people that achieve more, that are more disciplined than I, but as a little tip in life, always compare yourself to who you were yesterday, not to somebody today. Because I know who I was and I know that I am light years away from this laziness. And in this video, I'm going to share with you five tips that you can implement today in order to also start your process to discipline. Number one, have a why. A why is extremely important in order to have a motivation to be disciplined. If you do not know what you're striving for, What's the sense of putting the work in then? And I know how difficult it can be to find a why for yourself. Five years ago, I definitely didn't have a why. The only thing that I could tell you was like, I don't want to work a nine to five job because I want to decide how I want to spend my time. But I couldn't tell you what I wanted. I don't think necessarily you need to have your life plan. You don't need a specific goal of, okay, I want to, you know, be this, this and that because often we don't know where life takes us, but we can at least have a vision, a goal of who we want to be. Five years ago, I did not know exactly who I wanted to be. Do I want to be a YouTuber? Do I want to be this? Do I want to be that? No, I didn't have any idea, but I knew that I wanted to be a person who is in control of her life and not her life in control of her. And that was such a big motivator because starting to see degree, I realized that I am the one who has to decide to take her life in charge. And I knew that only I could change this. And I also gained a new mindset about the concept of discipline, which I previously had thought 
was something static to now accepting it to be something that you can acquire, that you can learn. And this is also gave me the motivation that it would be possible for myself. If you don't know how to find a why, it can help to make a little vision board because sometimes subconsciously we already know what we want, but we don't really dare to say it because maybe it's super outlandish and we feel like, okay, it's gonna be maybe a bit ridiculous what dreams we have. But if you go on Pinterest, you look for some photos, you just pin them all together, something that speaks to you, something that shows what you want to be, save it, then you can already see like in a vision where you want to go and that can be a goal as well. Discipline will be important for whatever you're going to strive to do in life because discipline means to endure hard times and push through to be able to get to the point that you want to get to. Point number two, stop finding excuses, start taking responsibility. I know for myself that I used to be quite the excuse kind of girl. I used to find excuses for everything. Why I couldn't make this, why I couldn't make that, why I was not on time. This and this and that was always the fault of somebody else. And the problem with that is that you refrain from taking responsibility over your own life by doing so, because you give it into the hands of others. Everybody else's fault is that your life is how it is. It's comfortable because you don't have to do anything about it, you can just complain. But if you want to be disciplined, take it in your own hand. Don't wait for something to happen, somebody to, to give you a present, to reach your dream, where you want to go. It's not going to happen. You have to make it happen yourself and by that take responsibility and accept that it is your responsibility to be disciplined. Point number three, Stop planning, start doing. Often we think we are doing something for a goal and we're disciplined because we're busy, we're writing something down and so on and making lists of all the steps. That is the first step, but in order to actually make it work, you will have to put the work in into your single points. You know, I can say I want to learn Portuguese and now I'm sitting there making a list. Okay, I need to learn 500 words, whatever have five lessons with an online teacher. That's the first step, okay? I can write down what is the plan, how to get there, but the most important thing is actually to do it. And this is why I'm always saying like, planning is important, but do not over plan, start doing. Point number four is change your environment. While I know, of course, that it's not all about the environment that we're in, the environment plays a huge role. If you're surrounded by people who are not disciplined, who are you know, going out every weekend, drinking, living that kind of lifestyle, which is fine, everybody can do what they want, but this is gonna have an influence on you. Because if this is the people you spend time with, obviously to spend time with them, you will have to engage in the same activities as them. And that will mean that you cannot be as disciplined as you want to be. Really become aware whether your environment is actually assisting you to become who you want to be or whether it's holding you back and then make steps to get out of it. And point number five, which is very important in my opinion, is do not expect instant results. We often go on YouTube, we see these videos of people who are you know, now living the top productive disciplined life, getting up at 4 a.m., doing their workouts, meditating, and so on. Even if this is your dream, if this is where you want to get to, you won't be there tomorrow if you have lived the lazy life up until now. It is going to be a process. Maybe you're one of the 1,000 who can make a change within one day and from then on be like a different person. I'm sure it exists, but I think majority of people will have a process of becoming more disciplined. Accept the ups and downs. It's also part of the process. And Part of the process is that you're sticking through it. And with this, I would like to end this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you get some valuable insights from this. And let me know in the comments what your tips are to stay disciplined, what your struggles are with discipline. And I would really appreciate if you would like and subscribe because that means a lot to me and helps me and this channel very much. So thank you very much for watching. I wish you a great day wherever you are in the world and I see you very soon. Bye!